Senator Avella, Senator Kruger, Senator Serrano, thank you very much for your wonderful work and for holding this forum. Thank you. We are deeply appreciative. I'm Susanna Glidden, Chair of Hands Across the Border in Westchester and Putnam Counties. After three and a half years, New York still has the worst fracking regulations in the nation. New York has no tax at the wellhead, but has free water for frackers. New York has no place to get rid of fracking flow back except to illegally dump it in our beautiful rivers and streams, and now unconscionably permitted by DEC to spread it on our roads. New York has not overturned compulsory integration, and New York still has no health impact assessment. New Yorkers are despairing of our state government, especially the Republican-controlled Senate and Governor Cuomo, for the way Cuomo is conducting the recklessly inadequate review of high-volume hydrofracking for natural gas, disregarding the science that proves its dangers. The governor and key Senate leaders should be voted out of office the head of the DEC Minerals Division fired for refusing to protect New Yorkers and our natural resources. <laughs> While instead putting our very lives at risk by marching us down the road of public safety, environmental and economic ruin, it is suicidal to use up and lethally poison our precious, finite and ever more scarce fresh water supply on Mother Earth. On May 4th, when it's released, please obtain a copy of the documentary, Last Call at the Oasis. See how few years are left with water supply for our western cities and our Midwestern breadbasket. Only four years of water remain in Lake Mead. The Ogallala Aquifer is nearing extinction and countries around the world are suffering agonizing scarcity. We are in deep water crisis already, yet New York State has not stopped this fracking madness. Fracking, as Gusti said, is a crime against humanity and against all species whose lives depend on clean water, air, and land. We implore our legislators to stand up to the governor, to keep at it no matter how insurmountable it seems, and to find the way to say no to gas drilling. Fracking and receipt of out-of-state frack fluid and drill cutting should be prohibited as put forth in your wonderful S4220. And legislatively, fracking should also be made the crime that it is by passing public law number one to criminalize hydrofracking, a draft herewith submitted. This bill would make corporate frackers the Class C felons that they are. <laughs> Please prohibit and criminalize fracking. Keep New York and your constituents safe. Thank you.